Today we're removing tooth number nine. It's got failing endo or a fracture. And um, we scoped this earlier. Um, and I really didn't see a fracture, but I don't recall. I could look back at my notes. But this didn't get any better. Um, and so we're going to transition to an implant here. Okay, you're going to feel some pressure. If any of this bothers you, just let me know. So before we start prepping this site for the implant, we want to check our stay plate, and the stay plate looks great. Got an ovate ponic going in there. A bunch of water on vibration, okay? Mm -hmm. Zimmer, tapered screw vent. Once we get into the osteotomy, um, sometimes this, the flare on the fixture mount pushes against the palatal bone. So, Then we just go direct. So we're grafting our Base defect now with um, Dynagraph D, which is a demineralized gel. Then we add cortical, mineralized cortical powder to it and tetracycline. Um, because she had a fair amount of bone loss here. We weren't sure whether or not we were going to be doing this immediate implant or not. And in situations like that, it's better to have a stay plate ready. So she's transitioning with the stay plate. Getting our stay plate adjusted, I've hollowed it so it fits over the healing abutment, but you can see it kind of pops on. And it's got that margin looking good there. So what I'm going to do is just flatten the edge of the healing abutment. Okay, so what I've done here is I've, I've kind of initially in the mouth we marked it, and but it's not adjusted enough. So I'm doing it outside the mouth with the handpiece here. So I've modified that a little more. And we'll try that in. Okay, so we got our stay plate adjusted and it just fits 
nicely over the healing abutment. It's going to maintain, help to maintain the contour and the papilla, contour of the gingival margin and the papilla there. Okay, now we're going to do this perforation repair. I like to make my incision in the keratinized tissue. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our tooth out, our implant in, the apex repaired, and we're going to take a look at this in a couple of weeks. This is the two week healing of the extraction and immediate implant, the number um, nine site, and um, take a look at it without the state plate. That's how things look clinically uh, with the state plate out, and we'll take a, take a look at the uh, x ray. So here's our x-ray and we'll take a look at things in one month. Okay, this is a one month healing of the immediate implant in the number nine spot. Okay, that's how our uh, healing abutment is healed. Okay, so there's where we started. There's where we are now. And we're looking at the final restoration that could be started at a total of two months. This is the final restoration on the uh, immediate implant we did on number nine and we're going to take a look at this in four months or three months. This is a one-year follow-up of the restoration on number nine and we'll take a look at the x-ray next.